Hey hippies, what's happening? It's Jack here. I know I haven't made many videos lately, but uh, I've been super busy. I'll definitely try to get back on that here in sometime in the near future. Um, today, I really wanted to talk about something that means a whole lot to me. This is a very old, have no idea how to find out when it was produced. If you guys know, let me know. But this is a long action Remington Model 03A3 30-06 rifle. And it's safe. Just trust me, I promise you it's safe. But um, <clears throat> this was my grandfather's rifle. He recently passed away, and before he did that, when my dad got, became old enough to really shoot and hunt, he gave him this rifle. And my father has recently done the same thing for me, and I plan on doing the same thing for my children. But uh, it means a whole lot to me. Like I said, it is a 30 out 6 rifle. Got a few pieces of ammunition sitting up over here just so you guys can get a, an idea of what it fires. Um, this guy right here, this is actually a 5.56 round, like what you find out of an AR-15 or an M16 or whatever, just so that you can get some kind of size comparison between that and the 30 out 6. 30 out 6 is an all-American round, man, I'm telling you. Like, that's, that's, that's balling right there. Um, let's see here. These, these are Winchester Super X. Uh, soft points, whatever. I mean, it's a, it's a decent, it's a decent hunting round. But um, I don't know. I, I have, I had a whole bunch of these left over just from a, a Garand that I used to have. But uh, that's gone now. Anyway, um, these have become my favorite ammunition as far as accuracy and range go, especially out of this rifle. Even though I don't really fire it all that much anymore. But uh, these are made by Georgia Arms, and they are green tip rounds. That's not a penetrator round by any means. It's not an XM855. It's a, it's a frangible round. It's a hunting round, but they've turned out to be fantastic, and this is just another example of... Oh God, I can't remember who makes this one, but uh, it's just a soft point. Um, yeah, I guess it, it kind of has the same... All of these, all three of these have the same kind of idea, but in them be, besides, like... I don't know. Expansion rounds, basically. I don't know. I'm into fragment on impact, but that's not important. What is important is this rifle. I really like it. I like it a whole lot. Um, don't know as much as I'd like to about it, though. If you guys do, please let me know what you think of it. I think that it's had a little bit of a uh, custom smith work done to it. Um, looks like a while ago, but uh, I don't think this is the original stock. Um, I would like to refinish this rifle. I really, really would. I'm thinking about doing a gun coat over, oh, come on now, over the barrel and the external pieces of the action. Hang on, let me see if I get this focus for you. There we go. Um, let's see here if I can find some spots. But I mean, you can see that there is a little bit of pitting in here. I mean, this, this rifle does need some work. It's just an old, old rifle. Um, I don't know if that's really a good idea or not. I'm sure you crown is in great shape it's a good rifle I like it it's really accurate um, but I would like to finish it if that's a good idea I'll do it if you guys really think it's not please tell me why not because I'd love to know trigger on is good yay so I mean it feels like a surplus rifle trigger but whatever um, stock linseed oil finished clean fresh nice I don't really want to mess with that. But anyway, appreciate you watching, hippies. Please comment, rate, subscribe, tell your friends. Yay, I'm stupid, but I got lots of guns, and I'll show them to you. Peace.